Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a follow-up from a video I filmed on the 17th of January 2019. So it's been literally over a year now. I filmed my phobia video and if you didn't know I have a phobia of buttons. There was a time and there still kind of is a time now when I can't say the word because it just makes me feel a bit sick. I can say it but it just makes me feel not the greatest so I won't be saying it too much in this video. Hi, by the way I just wanted to mention I have got a website, it is called freshfaceskincare.shop if anybody wants to go and check it out I make like natural skincare, homemade stuff, all well done, clean, everything like all sorted, my own labels, everything like that then do check out the link down below, shipping is three to five working days and I'm on it, on it, on it, so please check out the link in the description. Thank you. Um, but the actual name of the phobia is called Kumpunophobia. I'll try and leave the actual name on the screen now so that you can understand what that says, but I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But I filmed that video over a year ago. It's got nearly 3,000 views now, and what shocked me is that it's got 263 comments. I was going to sit down and film this video where I read the comments and react to the comments because I know there's some really interesting ones. I didn't realise how many there is so this is going to be a new series on my channel. I am going to be making this into a series where I read out the comments on this video and you might be thinking well there's only so many comments that you can read or there's only so much that can be you know very similar but actually people um, have written down their own stories you know some of them funny some of them not um and their own experiences and because it's such a weird phobia i think that's quite interesting to do so grab a hot beverage and settle down because it's going to be a nice chatty video i am going to read people's comments out that they've left but i'm not going to be reading out their names or anything um i think that if you leave a comment publicly on a video it's okay to be read out okay so this is just going to be part one there's going to be part two three four whatever um of this video so yes first of all i do know it is a really weird phobia i can't help it i was born with it it was passed down from my mom she has it as well i don't understand it but hopefully if you watch this video you'll have a little bit more understanding for people that have weird phobias because i can't control it so the first comment was left by my mum and she said georgie hello Imagine having one in your mouth. That is the worst thing ever for somebody with this phobia to have one in, no. That's just the worst situation ever. It would just make me feel sick. Like when I describe this phobia to people, I describe it as it being like somebody saying to me or me saying to you, would you like to eat some poo? Or would you like to eat this sick I've just thrown up? Like you would be like, like no that's exactly how I feel um about that situation and my mum put we do sound crazy because it is crazy she's no desire to get this phobia sorted as it doesn't really affect her life that much and that's the same with me I know and we'll see in a future video um that somebody did comment saying that they've had therapy um throughout their life and they've got to their 70s and they still have it I don't think it's something that can be fixed it you know for me no matter how many times I wear them, even throughout school, I've not got better, maybe even got a little bit worse. I had to wear them on a shirt for seven years. So I didn't get any better from that. So I don't think I'm ever gonna get better. Um, and it's not something that I want to. It's like, this is how I imagine it. I don't wanna fix the situation because I am disgusted by them so much that I would hate to not be disgusted by them. It's like, I'm sorry to reference poo all the time, but it's like me saying to you, would you like to be sort of hypnotized or would you like to be made to believe that it was okay to eat poo? You'd be like, no, 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 no. That's how I feel about this. I don't want to recover from this. I'm happy how I am and just avoiding them. Um, and somebody replied to her comment saying, please, I don't want to think of one in my mouth. Oh no. Yeah, I get that too. 
Um, OMG, I have this phobia. Whenever I tell someone about it, they think I'm really weird. People will always think you're weird and you can't blame them because it is a weird phobia, like it's very different. But also at the same time, people can't make fun of you or they can't like be really nasty about it. I think the thing that annoys me is when people don't believe me or they say, oh, for goodness sake, like just get over it. Like, I'm sorry, but who the heck would choose to have a phobia of buttons? Like who would choose to be like that? You know what I mean? Like if I was gonna pick a phobia, I'd pick something a little bit interesting. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's not something that I'm just gonna be making up just for fun. Um, so there we go. And somebody replied to their comment saying, as most mentioned, the metal ones on jeans are fine, but it's the small plastic ones. It is something about the, the plastic texture and the holes and everything like it does make me feel sick to think about this but i'm doing this for this video so yeah if you've got it and you're watching this video i do apologize we'll make it through you can click off if you want but remember to give it a thumbs up just saying the metal ones are completely fine it must be something in our brains that feels uncomfortable with the size the texture the the whole thing like it's just the the whole thing is just not good and someone put as another comment um, I'm the same, I would throw up as a child, I'm not as bad now, not bothered with the metal ones on jeans um, and denim jackets, but the worst case ever are polo t-shirts, ugh, no, 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 um, yeah, not good, and she put, I would divorce my husband if he wore one, and also coins, 5Ps especially, I'm a bit funny with, ah, yes. I did mention in that video that I am also a little bit funny when it comes to coins. So, for example, I think it's probably the size of them. For example, five peas are really small and it just feels really, like, little and just... But I don't know how to explain it, it's really confusing. I don't really like picking up money, I don't like touching money, but I know that money's really dirty anyway because it gets passed from person to person to person, but it's not that. It's just the size of it and everything and it's just not great but it's not anywhere near as bad as buttons are and by the way all these people's comments that they've commented in the comments um have got like 30 50 likes each so this is not an uncommon well it is an uncommon phobia but there's still quite a lot of people that have got it surprisingly um and put someone commented omg polo shirts like let's just not even go there <laughs> there's comments still like four days ago this is my most commented on video at the minute like i get comments daily now um and someone just put you ooh, ooh, polo shirts yeah um somebody else says i have this phobia too i literally can't say the word and i had to delete this video off my history do apologize if you're watching this video you can delete this one off your history too um when my brother was wearing his shirt that I had some on i couldn't even look at him even while i was eating trust me if somebody is surrounding me or around me when they're uh, when we're eating and they're wearing them it just makes me think i can't eat like it literally is like somebody's thrown up on the table and you're expected to eat around that that's how i feel and it's just like no thank you no 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 like sometimes in the past when i was a child i wouldn't be able to get past the thought of it and i would feel so sick eating that i would just put my sandwich back in my bag because i wouldn't be able to eat it um, whereas now i'm fine i'm all good you know if somebody's on the table i feel a bit uncomfortable but i try and look past it as much as i can um, and somebody put don't worry it's not just you I know it's not just me I literally thought like it was um, just me and my mum I didn't realise like this was a whole thing and then I researched it it had a name and then people are commenting on this video so yeah thanks for everyone to comment thanks to everyone for commenting on that video because otherwise I would not have known that loads of people have got this um, so yeah um, somebody says I have this phobia I've had it since I was a child that's usually the case um, when you have phobias and things, you usually have them since you're a child, you know, you're born with it. I do think it is something in our genetics and in our DNA. It is also hereditary. I know from comments that have been written um, that they say it's been passed down to them. It d doesn't mean that it's always going to be passed down, but it means that it could be. So there is potential for it to be passed down. Um, somebody put, it was mandatory to wear shirts in my high school. And at that moment, I knew I had effed up. Um, yeah. 
for me that was the exact same thing i had to wear them as well and i didn't think that there was any other choice plus i didn't want to wear anything else because you would just stand out from everybody else and that would probably be even worse i just had to put up with it i did feel uncomfortable every single day in terms of you just kind of feel a little bit like sicky um but you just kind of look past that it was mainly like when i was eating and stuff that i had like most of a problem and somebody put omg i thought i was the only one i think everybody that has this phobia probably thinks i'm the only one until they watch this video and realize they're not um someone said oh man i had no idea this was a real fear i have a fear of holes um which is trypophobia um that's i think that's kind of similar in a way because the, like buttons have got holes in them but i don't have a favor of holes um i don't understand that which helps me to understand when people don't understand my phobia you know i can't understand not having this like I, or, or i can't understand being okay with them somebody which i find this really interesting said um they have selective mutism and they have a button phobia so that's quite interesting to me because obviously as a child i had selective mutism for years and years and and i also had the phobia so is there something in our brains that maybe kind of works that way or maybe is it just a coincidence that that's what's happened like i just find that crazy how i had selective mutism which was quite rare and this weird rare phobia and so has somebody else that's commented on this video okay somebody commented saying i have had this for 59 years since i can remember everyone teased me including my parents i have been ashamed of it so i tried to hide feeling that way but i couldn't get past even talking about it around nine years ago i found out it was a real phobia i always assumed i was just crazy can't touch or look at them makes me ill when you mention not being able to eat when they're around is exactly how i feel if someone asks me to button something for them i totally freak out finding that this is a thing makes me feel better I think they're dirty. I also have to wash my hands if I come into contact with them and I can't touch Barbie dolls either. Right, so I'm just gonna kind of dissect that comment a little bit because that actually says quite a lot of stuff that I relate to. So first of all, they've had it for 59 years. Like I said at the start, it's not something that always goes away for some people it might do but most people trust me it does not um so it's not just you know young kids saying i've got a random phobia this is in adults as well she said about the fact that she's been ashamed of it i wouldn't say i've always been ashamed of it because obviously i'm here making this video i've made my other video and i am going to be making you know more videos in the future and i do talk about it like openly with friends and stuff because to me it's so weird that it's like interesting rather than like i don't know embarrassing i am i think when i first get to know people like when i first have boyfriends and stuff i don't tell them about it because it does come across as quite an odd thing i actually personally think that if i tell people that that they won't believe me and i don't want people to think that i'm lying when i've only just met them so i don't do that i think my dad's just come home from work probably have to tell him i'm filming a video and she only found out nine years ago that it was a real phobia so for 50 years she didn't even realize that this was an actual thing and she would probably just think that she was being really weird um and yeah i can't touch them look at them i can't even think about them sometimes well i don't <laughs> um somebody said i have this phobia i screamed and cried when i first saw one they terrify me now that comment was left one day ago see yesterday and i just don't understand that i just don't get that because to me whenever i've explained it to people i've always said it's not a fear it's like being sick or feeling sick so it's not like oh my god i'm really scared excuse me i'm filming a video i need my laptop charger oh my laptop's on seven percent it's my charger oh how long are you going to have it for well i'm gonna uh Jack, that Jack's picking me up in an hour. Okay. Speed Alamon. Because my phone's on 1% and my laptop's on 7%. This phone charges. Thanks. Bye bye. bye Can you me. shut the door, please? Thanks. Sorry about the interruption. Um, so, yeah, it's not like, oh my god, whoa, I'm so scared. Like, if I saw a spider, I would feel a bit scared because I don't want it to go and jump at me. This is not a fear. It's not like I see one and I, I am scared. 
um it's a it's a sick feeling and i think that's how it is for most people it's like a, a disgusting feeling um but this person clearly says that when they first saw one they screamed so obviously for some people it's it's a scared thing um someone else said everyone is so confused when i tell them that i have this phobia it's good to know that i'm not alone yeah I completely get that. I thought that I was the only one with this as well. I didn't realise this was actually a genuine thing with a genuine name. Um, so yeah, we're not alone. We're in the weird phobias club of people. Somebody put, OMG, I have this fear of this too. Like my friends say, it's affecting them when I say, please, can you wash your hands because you've been handling buttons and I get so sick. I can understand why your friends will think, why do I have to wash my hands because you've got a phobia that makes no sense. I can get that because again, it isn't something that's dirty. It doesn't carry bacteria. It's nothing like that. It's not to do with kind of getting ill or anything. It's just a feeling that is irrational. Um, so I can understand that. But maybe if your friends had a little bit more understanding as, how, as to the fact that you don't have control over this. Somebody said, I have this. Once when I was out at dinner, one of my friend's dad had a full shirt of them and he was sat opposite me and I threw up all over the table it sounds disgusting but it's just how it is oh my god like that is not good <laughs> like did you explain to the person that that happened like why you know do you know what I mean like did you explain why you threw up or did you just say oh I felt ill because <laughs> I would not explain I would because then surely that guy would feel really bad that he's been wearing a shirt of like a phobia I don't know Sorry, but I'm playing with my hair. I've only just realised there's like a gorilla up there. Hi. <laughs> That's so weird. Right, okay. Um. So yeah, that is really odd. Now I have only been sick once because of this phobia and I was with my previous boyfriend and he was too lazy to change the bed sheets that had them on. Um, so I had to do it and literally I just, I'm usually okay, I can usually power through, you know, mind first, but I must have been not feeling too good that day and I just felt really sick and I just felt like I needed to be sick, so I just went to the toilet and yeah, sick came up. I sicked up because of this. So it is definitely something that's irrational, but definitely something that happens. Um, someone put, I have this phobia too, I totally understand this. Thank you. By the way, I am pretty much reading everyone's comments on this video. I'm, you know, everyone's comments are worthy. Okay, this is slightly longer. Right, I was looking for people with this problem and I found this video. My grandma, my mum and I, we also have it. It's so interesting to see how it goes through generations. My mum has seven siblings and she's the only one that has this, but some of her sisters and my brother they have different kinds of phobias, but I think it's some genetic predisposition to have phobias to concrete situations or objects, and the education you received can just determine for what exactly. And it is such a problem concerning interactions with people and the world. So, this is interesting, the fact that herself, her mum and her grandma had it, definitely hereditary. It doesn't mean that every child that you have will have it as well. As she said, her siblings didn't all have this way, they had different ones. But I think it's just saying that there is potential for it to be able to be hereditary. And I find that so interesting because that does immediately tell you it's in your genetics. There's something in your genetics that makes you feel uncomfortable and sick around an irrational thing. It's weird. Somebody else just put, OMG, I have it too. People write comments like that because they're actually shocked that they have also got something this weird and that um, they found a video with other people on it because obviously most people think that they're the only ones that have got it. Um, someone said, I have this phobia too. That's why I struggle wearing my uniform. Every time I see people with polo shirts, I want to seriously puke. Same. <laughs> Obviously, you just kind of have to power through, you know, you wear in your uniform, you've just got to do it. Um, yeah, that's just what we had to do. I know some people in America that don't wear uniforms. Um, I would love that. That would be amazing. I go to uni now and I obviously don't wear a uniform, which is great. Okay, I'm going to read about three more comments and then we'll round this video up and then we'll do a part two. So... Another comment, I used to have this as a child. We were going out and my mum told me to put on a button-up shirt. 
I refused and later cried and begged her to let me wear another shirt without buttons on it. I've had similar situations to this when I was younger with people wanting to dress me, not my parents, but other people wanting to dress me in clothes that contained them on. And obviously, you know, especially the older generation will probably not quite understand things like this and they will think as a child that you're making stuff up. You know, some people think that because children are saying things that, you know, oh, they're just kids, they don't know what they're on about, but actually, kids are quite clever and they do say things that do mean things and I was not making stuff up trust me um so yeah it does get you to the point of crying I have cried over it several times when people don't understand it or when people are really annoying about it um someone said I feel you thank you we're all in this together um and the final comment says I have always hated them on clothes. I'm 31 now and still detest them. This is a guy, by the way. None of my clothes have them. And similarly to you, I also dislike the word itself. I used to hate when it was hot at school and I wouldn't want to take off my jumper because I didn't want to expose my button shirt underneath. Um, and he also says it can be linked to trauma in early childhood. This article is interesting. Okay, so he's actually left an article there. That might be quite interesting. Maybe I'll link it down below in the description as well to this video if, if I'll have a look at it and check it out first. See, he had his jumper over his shirt. I used to keep my blazer on all the time and my tie. I hated it if like my tie wasn't on because I would feel really sick and uh, like no way, no way, no way. Like that was the worst thing ever. Um, so you can kind of get through it when you can't see them, but you still know that they're there. It's just not good. Thank you to that person that left that article. I will link it down below if anybody wants to go and read it and just check it out for yourself. It's completely up to you. Next time I am going to be reading some more comments. So I'm just gonna take a picture of where I've got to so that I know. Um, I am gonna be doing a part two to this video and many other parts. I will not be, I will try and get through every single comment. There is comments every day left, so there will always be um, some to read, but the next video that I post will probably be in like a few weeks. I don't wanna make these series, you know, one after the other, but I also don't want them to be too far apart because it is just a series. So I'm hoping to get all of these kind of comments read out by the end of a couple of months, basically. So yeah, please subscribe if you wanna see the next part of this video and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.